This is an oil well repair rig. Finally, when things break, you gotta fix them, it happens. Well, today's that day. We're here, there she is. We gotta fix an oil well. This thing is crazy old. You gotta see how it works. First things first, we need liquefied dinosaurs. Do, 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 do. Glug, 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 glug. Oh, she's thirsty. Cap back on. Like a glove. Runs perfect every time. Almost. Do not slam the fucking door. Today we're doing pipe. Got to get that pipe out of the ground. I'll try to snip in some joints. Show you how we do this. One tier of pipe out. I can't really video while we're working because it takes two people to do this, but all these joints are about 20 feet and it's about 1300 feet down, so do the math. Keep at it. Got two layers of pipe done. There's a layer under there and there's a top layer. Gotta hydrate. Why don't I show you a rig while we eat lunch? This here is a 1956 Ford F600 that we converted into our oil well repair rig. My grandfather and father put this all together. The back end is PTO driven with a transmission for speed or power. The drive shaft comes out of the PTO, goes back into this, and that is a Ford Model T rear end that's made custom to work this spool for the cable. All these levers right here are how you operate the thing from one place. This lever here is for the brake over top. This lever here is for the throttle. This lever right here is how you engage the power and make the pulley start working. You press in with your hips while you work the brake and the throttle at the same time all at once makes it all work together got the clutch that runs the pulley push this brake in engages the pulley which brings the cable down from up over the mast this brings the pipe up I'll get another video of it all working but there's just two of us out here today so safety first that's all that matters. Stick around for more.